guys welcome back to the channel i am the little foodie and today we've got a nice little chocolate tart for you to do uh, simple uh, not too many ingredients so we'll just get straight into it here today so we're going to start off already as you can see have 15 digestive biscuits just in a ziploc bag so we're going to break these down uh, obviously not everybody has a food processor so we'll just keep it simple I'm just going to crush these down. See, I have a tea towel on the leaf. Nearly there. Just want to make sure these are really well broken. I'll just stop for one second because I haven't even given you the recipe yet. So what you are actually going to need is 15 digestive biscuits. You're going to need six tablespoons of melted butter. Then you're going to need 300 grams of dark chocolate. Uh, you're also going to need one cup of double cream or heavy cream. Uh, three tablespoons of light uh, brown sugar. A pinch of salt. And that's pretty much everything that goes into it. Uh, sorry about that. I normally give, I normally give, but I just forgot myself. Got a little bit ahead. So anyway, that's then broken down, nice and you can see, nice and fine. And if, if it's not fine, then all you can do is just spread it out, give it a little roll with a rolling pin, just to make sure you've got any other bits. Okay, so that's that. So we're just what we'll do now is we'll just open the bag. And for this we're gonna add in uh, the six tablespoons of melted butter. As you can see I already have it melted here. And we're just gonna put this straight into the bag. And when you do melt it down, just let it sit to the side to let it cool. Okay, so we'll just close the ziplock bag. I'm just going to mix this up. So it's all combined really, really well. And then once you've got the butter combined, as you can see, still, if you have a little bit there, it's still not fine enough. Just roll it out again. Don't be afraid to put some weight onto it. So that's it. We'll leave this to one side, and then I have a a nine-inch uh, cake tin here that I'm going to use, and then we're just going to pour the pour the biscuits in. I'm take this off to one side. Okay. Going to shake this in, then all we're going to do with a spoon, we're just going to press this down into the base. You want to make sure you spread this evenly so it's nice and level all the way around. You see, I'm just turning with my hand, I have a spoon in place, just sitting in and just turning, turning until it becomes nice and smooth.
Okay. So for this this part, we're done now. And what you want to do is just give you a, a quick look, as you can see. Nice and tight. So we'll leave that there. And then what you want to do is put this into the refrigerator for uh, about 20 minutes. So we'll do that, and we'll get on to the uh, the chocolate filling for this. So we'll just put this in, put it in for 20 minutes, and then we'll, we'll come back and do the next part. Okay guys, so we're back for part two. As you can see, I have a pot here. So what you're gonna need to do with this is just put about 200 mils of uh, cold water into it. Take it over to the stove or the cooker uh, on, a, on a lower sheet because you just want this water simmering. Um, we're just gonna take this over to the stove. And that will come up to temperature while we're doing the next step. So I'll just move this board. I have a Pyrex dish here. So all we're going to do now is we're going to start adding the ingredients. So first of all, you want to add in your one cup of uh, heavy cream. Well, that's uh, 250 milliliters. So that goes straight into the bowl. And then after that, we're going to add in the uh, brown sugar. This is uh, six tablespoons. And this is a light brown sugar. So that's just going to go straight in. And then we're going to add in another four tablespoons uh, or 60 ml of melted butter, which I pre-melted before. And then we're just going to add a little pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. And then we're going to use the uh, 300 grams of chocolate. And we're just literally going to break this in. These come in 100 gram bars. So we're just going to break this into it. You don't have to break each piece up separately, but it does help with the cooking process. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take this over. Actually bring this over to show you what we're actually going to do here. This here. We're going to put this over the top. Folks, if your kids are helping, uh, you want to be doing this part yourself. Okay, so we've just got that on the heat now. And we're just going to wait for that to melt. And all the, com all the ingredients are combined nicely. So, once this is all combined nicely, I'll come back uh, and I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh, and then we can get on to filling the tart. So, we'll come back. Okay, guys, final part now. So, we have our base been in the fridge for uh, 20 minutes. So I've got all my chocolate uh, combined, everything in there. I'm just gonna bring this over to show you. I have a board down here. Just sit this on, because this is hot. You don't wanna burn your side, your counter. And the bowl is going to be, it's going to be quite hot as well. So basically, all you wanna do with this, is take this off, get it down, put this to one side. Careful, very hot. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a, a quick review of this. It still is very hot, the bowl is very hot, as you can see, all the ingredients are combined. See that there. So you're left with a nice sheen on the chocolate. And then what you want to do with this is you want to let this really cool for about 15 minutes um, before you start working with it because like i say the bowl is hot i have a tea towel in my hand just to hold on to the bowl uh, but what i would say is just once you've taken this off the heat just set it to the side for 10 10 15 minutes just to let it cool down and then you'll be able to work with it a lot more easy so we'll just push this to one side 
and I'll take out the base. That's the base. Base is set, it's nice and firm. So all we're going to do with this now for the final part, we are literally just going to lift the bowl and put the ingredients in. Lovely. Scrape the sides, get as much of that in as possible. Right. Once you have that in, all you want to do is just give this a little shake just to get the top nice and smooth which we've got here and then what you want to be doing with this you want to be leaving it in the fridge for three to four hours uh, if you if you can leave it in overnight and so that's what we'll do now we'll just put this in and we'll come back as usual show you the, the, the final product uh, yeah so we'll come back to this guys Okay guys, back for the final part of this video. As you can see, I've already taken the tart out. Uh, I've basically just taken it out of the cake tin. I used a, a warm palette knife, just ran under hot water just to take it out, just to loosen it up from the sides. And I've pre-cut a portion already. So this is what you're, you're gonna be left with. I have quite a thick base. If you want your base um, a little thinner, uh, just take out some digested biscuits, maybe five or so. Also take out a tablespoon of butter. But apart from that, that's it. It's quick, simple. Anybody can do this. Uh, you know, it's no frills. It's just simple food. So uh, I'm just going to put a bit on a plate now. And maybe a bit of double cream. And this is uh, it's a very it's a very rich tart. So uh, that's that's why I prefer more base on it you know some people will want the base thinner so I'll just pre-whip some double cream you don't want to over whip this you, know, you do want it quite slack and then just a little bit on the plate just to cut through the richness of the chocolate kids will enjoy it I have no doubt this won't last very long so guys that's pretty much it no frills no fuss just simple anybody can do this so give it a go yourself and again thanks for watching if you like what you see like and subscribe hit the notification buttons just to keep up with all the latest content and again guys thank you very much for your time and enjoy if you do decide to make this